We are about to see a true urban winery smack in the middle of downtown Kansas City. I mean, the P&L district is just a few blocks that way. This is KC Wine Works and everything they make here is Missouri grown, every one of the grapes. And they actually utilize their back alley to do everything from crushing to bottling right here in the middle of downtown. I can't wait to see it. Hi, Sydney. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great. This is truly an urban winery. How long have you been here? We have been here for just about three and a half years. Okay. Talk about the district where you are because this obviously is a very historic but a very forward-thinking place to spend time in Kansas City. Yeah, so um, we're located in the Crossroads Arts District. It's got a lot of rich history, so we did incorporate a little bit of that more industrial, urban feel. It's very comfortable, it's very pretty, and I do want to get into the winemaking because I know that you are grape to glass and you can show the consumer where those wines come from regardless of where they're grown in the state. So can we go take a look behind the curtain in the back? Yes, we can head to the back. Let's do it. So this is where the magic happens. Yeah, it is. How are you? Great, great. Good to see you. Well, it's good to see you too. So I am loving this place. I love everything about it, but I want to talk about the wines that you make here. You are not afraid to utilize very, very modern technology for efficiency's sake and for a great product. Talk about it. Right. Well, absolutely. The, the challenge of it is this is a one-man operation back mm. here pretty much, and so we had to automate a lot of our processes. Um, that also gives us much more control over the wine. Uh, so we're able to heat and cool all of our tanks independently, uh, which is really important from a quality perspective too, because we're able to move the process along at exactly the right speed for us. Okay. And get the most out of those uh, locally grown, locally sourced grapes. We're trying to push the boundaries where we can, but also respecting the traditions that have been established by, you know, literally millennia of winemaking. Right, and I know that the sparkling is a very specific process. I can't wait to hear about it. Let's go look at it. Great. It smells so good in this room, James. I love the smell of the wood. And these barrels come from Lebanon? Yeah, we only use uh, American oak barrels because, you know, 90 some percent of American oak cut for wine barrel staves in the world's cut in the Ozarks. Uh, so Southern Missouri, Northern Arkansas. And then World Cooperage in Lebanon is one of the largest single cooperages in the world. So tell me about this procedure here with the sparkling. Right, so uh, these are our riddling racks. Um, we unfortunately just emptied these the other day, but I still do have my test bottles here um, that we show off on tours. Um, so this is a process for removing the yeast and sediment from the second fermentation that's done in bottle to get that naturally uh, carbonated sparkling wine. Right, so you turn these just a little bit every single day? Yeah, we have a process that we go through uh, of turning them by hand over 21 days uh, to move that sediment from throughout the bottle to where it's perfectly in the neck of the bottle at the very end. And I love how you can see into the barrel room from your event space out front. So I'm gonna go back out and talk to Sydney about what all happens out there. I love this room. So this is your event space, but it's also where people land if they just want to buy a bottle of wine and have a bite to eat. Correct, yeah. Um, so people usually start in the tasting room, they'll do their tasting, find something that they like, and they're able to move in here, sit down, relax, and enjoy. We do like to feature different local artists. Um, we always open up on First Friday mm -hmm. when all the art galleries are open and like to do different fun things like that. Very pretty. Okay, I think it's time to taste some of the wine that Let's I've heard so much about. Will you taste with me? I think I can manage. I bet you can. <laughs> Let's go try it. So Sydney, what are we starting with? So we are starting with our Crossroads Red. This is our number one best-selling wine overall, and it has been since we opened. It's an off-dry blend, so it's just super smooth, a little bit more fruit forward, easy drinking red. Are you gonna try some with me? Cause you know, I hate to drink alone. <laughs> I'd love to see Why what you think not? of it as well. Is this one of your favorites? This is one of my favorites. Um, mm. It's our best seller for a reason. It is just really good. Crossroads Red. So you're hearkening back to the neighborhood, which I love. That's fantastic can't help but notice you're going to share some of your sparkling with me, which I'm yes. thrilled about because I love a sparkling. This is your rosé? This is our sparkling rosé. 
All right, so sparkling rosé. Um, it's a Brut Tour, so this is actually two steps drier than your typical Brut, so it's pretty dry. Super bubbly, light, crisp, clean sparkling. I love dry. You must have read my mind. Mm. Wow. I love it. That's over the top crisp right off the bat. Yes. Man, you guys know what you're doing here. This is good Thank stuff. Thank you. This has to be one of your most popular as well, I would think. It's it's up there, yes, yeah. Quickly growing into the one of the most popular. And I can just imagine coming in here on any given evening and ordering up a nice cheese tray, something to nosh on, and some either one of these, and I'm sure your other ones are great, but I'll tell you what, I'm happy to start and stick with these two. Thank you, Sydney. Yes, thank I've you. I've enjoyed everything about it. Cheers. Cheers to you and KC Wine Works. Thank you. Mm.